Hello everyone, this is Stat Pro full course tutorial series and the content in this series is introduction to Stat Pro, structure, modeling and other geometry functions, property details, member specification, loading, static and dynamic. Seismic analysis, wind load analysis, post processing, RC design, steel design, introduction to FEM finite element method and water tank design, bridge design, industrial structure, non-building, transmission structure, foundation and etc. Let's start. Okay, why subscribe this channel and click on bell icon? Because after the stat pro tutorial series, this series uh, I will start the ETAP tutorial series, SAP 2000 tutorial series, TACLA, ANSYS, AutoCAD, Revit architecture and Revit structure, ABACUS, ArcGIS, MX Road, PrimeVira, Microsoft Project MSP, CSI Bridge, 3D Max and Gate preparation series. That's why I suggest you please subscribe this channel and click on bell icon. Let's start Stat Pro full course series. This is Stat Pro icon. Double click on this Stat Pro V8 i international version 8i. When you start this Stat Pro, uh, you can see this window. In this window, here is the IS code. The Stat Pro is supported around 90 international IS code, design IS code of timber, aluminium and steel. Basically Stat Pro is a structure analysis and designing software developed by the Research Engineering International in 1997. After 1997, Research Engineer International was bought by Bentley. Stat Pro is the most widely used structure analysis and design software product worldwide. Okay, so this is the uh, IS code. You choose your country IS code. Here you see the Indian design code is selected and green mark showing that your Stat Pro software is activated. If your green mark is red, it means it's activation is fail and is not work okay this is the technical help online help and this is the uh, new project open project and other configuration options and here are the recent files when you start first time start pro here this is space empty okay let's start first you have to click on new project when you click on the new project this window is appear in the first box the first option is space it means if your structure is 3d then you choose space structure if your structure is 2d you select plane structure if you want to uh, module model a floor um, then you select uh, a floor option if you want to make a truss structure then you select the truss structure okay the so today we select the space after select the space option here you put the file name like this is the day one tutorial okay after this this is the location where you want to save the file default location is where the installation directory of the stat pro and you can choose the other location like a folder on desktop after that you choose the units length units and force unit and I am choose length in meter mm -hmm. SI unit and force in kilonewton now go to the next button after next button one more window appear in this window three box first box second box and third box the first box have some options this options image and description in other box here is description here is image the first option is add beam add beam means if you select add beam option and click on the finish your mouse cursor is automatically create beams when you click 
if you click in the working space your cursor is automatically create beams okay if you select plate you can choose one option only at a at a time if you choose plate it means your cursor create automatically plates when you click you see in this image if you select solid your cursor is automatically create solid objects if you create on open structure wizard okay open structure wizard is a application when you click on open structure wizard then go to the finish a one application is open in this application there are many types of structure already modeled if your structure like this models you can import this models into the stat pro or you can change property of this model by double click length width and size you can change and then import in the stat pro okay this is structure wizard okay now go to the stat pro editor this is very important tool okay before we uh, talk about stat pro editor one more thing i want to tell you in stat pro before structure and listen design we have to make model if you want to make model you have many option to create a model first option is gui graphical user interface you can make a model by using the mouse and graphical window click on the icons and you create the model second is the autocad you can make model in autocad and then import autocad file third option is an important editor stat editor in stat editor when you click on stat editor a window is open in this window only you can type command and you create the model also you you assign the loads and properties by only typing the command is very important tool our oh, and uh, if you want uh, some users ask the question what is the difference between e tabs and stat pro e tab is also a structure analysis design software versus stat pro so first difference is this e stat pro have a option editor where advanced option is stat pro editor and e tab not have option like this okay so this is the stat pro editor and the last option is edit job information in this option you can input the uh, client name job title engineer project name this type of information you can fill before start the project okay also one more one more important thing you can if you choose add beam you can do all these things in the option of add beam you not necessary to choose uh, for designing plate uh, the add plate button you can create plate in the option of add beam create solid open you can uh, activate any option in the add beam option okay the so what is the add beam option add beam means your cursor automatically create beams when you click so okay we choose the add beam and go to the finish okay this is the stat pro tutorial full course series and uh, uh, this video series and uh, length of the uh, videos is uh, around 10 to 12 minutes that's why we make uh, short videos of the whole series okay you can see we choose the uh, previous we choose the add beam um, option you can see our cursor is blink if i click in on this grid the automatically beam creates okay before we start we uh, uh, introduce the interface of the stat pro this is the working space window where we make the models this is the grid grid or uh, this grid is uh, uh, help to make the 2d objects mm -hmm. fast this is the coordinate system this is the x and this is the y and this is the z okay this is the menu bar options 
and this is also shortcut options here to go to the modes modeling modes post processing mode steel design concrete design foundation ram bridge slab piping and earthquake if you choose any option from here you can check the properties of that option is here example if i click on the plate when you click on the plate the plate properties you can see here if you click on the general the general related properties you can see here okay when you click uh, on design you can see the design related property here so the, uh, how the stat pro work this is the process uh, this is the uh, way of stat pro work okay here is the icons of cursor when you select beam when you select plate when you select shear wall you have to choose different cursor for select uh, uh, different objects so these are the cursor these are the shortcut view shortcut creating element shortcut rotation shortcut design unit shortcut and the result shortcut this is a menu bar you can go also this option uh, inside the menu bars so this is the interface of the stat pro so let's start first of all i delete this uh, beams by selecting control plus a select all object and delete by keyboard delete button okay so this is the stat pro day first tutorial series full course series in this series only basic things uh, we will discuss in the next day two series we start the stat pro if you like this video please subscribe and like uh, and click on the bell icon for come upcoming videos and future tutor series uh, when the when i discuss in the starting of the video thank you